All right, hey, what's up guys? This is Biggs, and today I'm gonna to be doing a custom logo insertion tutorial for your Marvel vs. Capcom 2 mix. You can insert a custom logo on most Dreamcast games, but I'm just gonna show you how to do that today. So in the description of this video, there should be an MVC2 mix tools download link. You'll download the zip file, unzip it, and it will give you this file right here. Inside here, we're gonna be looking at custom logo today. So go ahead and click that. And in custom logo, there's gonna be this logo tool zip. Just unzip that and you'll get this folder right here. So we'll open up this folder. There's gonna be a logo tools folder, just go in there. And this is where we're gonna be working out of today. So there's gonna be two uh, executables in here that you need to pay attention to, PNG to MR and logo insert. PNG to MR basically takes a PNG file, converts it to an MR file, and then we're gonna use logo insert to insert that MR file into our IP bin for our game. Um, so that's really simple there. Now I'm gonna go over the graphic design part of it. So I'm gonna open up a browser right here. I normally use um, Photoshop to make my um, images and stuff like that, but a lot of people don't have Photoshop and they don't wanna pay for it. So I'll show you some alternatives to that. One of them is GIMP. So this is like a free software version of Photoshop. Um, kind of has a steeper learning curve, but it's free. Another one you can use is Photopia. It's like a web version of Photoshop that's free. And this is uh, very useful for creating things really fast and you don't have to install anything if you use Photopia. Um, one of the things uh, that Photopia won't do is we need um, in our image requirements the um, colors to be 128 colors or less. And Photopia actually doesn't have an option to do index color ranges on here. So that's one bad thing about Photopia. You can actually make your project um, and just export the PNG and import it into like GIMP and change it to 128 colors and just save that. I do that a bunch because a lot of times I'm like at work and I just have an idea. So I just use Photopia to make it. And then when I get home, I go ahead and convert it to 128 colors. Um, but we're just going to use GIMP because it has everything that we need from the start. So we're just use GIMP, I already have GIMP installed. So I'll open up GIMP right here and I'll talk about the requirements for your logo. The logo has to be 320 width by 90 um, length max. You can make it smaller than that if you want, but that's just the uh, maximum image requirement. And then you have to make your image uh, indexed with 128 colors or less. So those are the two big requirements and we can talk about some other things later. So once you go in GIMP, um, we're going to create a new um, image and we're gonna make it 320 by 90. So 320 by 90 right here, press okay. So there you go. Um, it's gonna create this like white square. It might be black for you, um, doesn't matter. But what we're gonna be doing today is taking this Magneto spray. I basically exported this from Palmod as a transparent PNG and we're just gonna put this on the logo. So in GIMP, I'm going to just drag and drop this in here. So there it goes and we have to resize it. This is one of the ugly things about GIMP. You can't like click the corners. So we have to go to this um, scale tool right here, click this and we'll resize the image like so, just to make sure it fits in the um, square. There you go, that looks fine, like it fits in there. And then when you're done, you just press enter right there. So there we go. Um, now I'm going to change the background color so that it shows up as transparent when you do it. So in order to do that, we're gonna click uh, out of this um, tool right here, go back to this move tool. So what we're gonna do is click this white square right here, change the active background color to C0, C0, C0. This is the background color for the Dreamcast um, title, like Sega license screen. And this is gonna make our image appear as if it's transparent. So we're gonna do this. Then we're going to click and uh, go to edit, fill with background color. That's the color we just added over there. Oops, I actually filled the, um, the image. Let's click this one. So go over here, click background, and then you go uh, edit, fill with background color. 
right there and there it goes it made the background this kind of gray color so when you actually burn the um game it's going to show up as white but this is basically what you do right there so 320 by 90 we made the background color c0 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 because we want it to appear transparent you don't have to do that if you want your logo to be something else the last thing we have to do is make sure the image is 128 colors or less so you go up here to image mode and we're going to change it from rgb to indexed so indexed it's going to generate an optimum palette yours is probably going to say 256 just change it to 128 and then press convert right here so convert and there we go so when we go back to image and mode it's going to be on index right there so now all we're going to do is export this as a png so go to file export as and we're going to call it a png i'm going to put it on my desktop or actually yeah i'll just put it on my desktop we're going to call it um logo.png like that so it exported just press export right there and i think we're done with gimp at this point so i'll just discard changes so here's our logo that's what it's going to look like so now we're going to open up that folder that we had again go all the way into the logo tools and we're going to drag and drop this logo into there um, the next thing we're going to need to do is create a command prompt open up one of those so go to start type cmd open up your command prompt and we need to navigate to this folder location so just go over here click the top Control c that command prompt you're going to write cd right click paste and this is going to take you to the folder that we're in so in this folder um, we're going to use png to mr first so in your command prompt type png to mr space we're going to do the logo uh, file name so it's logo.png space and then we're going to do the output file name logo.mr like that so it's gonna give you some output right here. It says it loaded the PNG 320 by 90, found 128 colors. And then it's going to tell you if it's gonna fit into the normal IP bin. If you messed up on any of the previous steps before, like let's say you made the image too big or you didn't um, use index color space, then it's gonna say that it's not gonna work right here. So that's one way that you could tell really quick. So it did that and made our MR file. You can see that right here. Next thing we need to do is insert this into the IP bin. So I am going to go to my mix folder right here. This is just a vanilla Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I extracted all the files. And we're going to take the um, first thing we're going to do, we're going to delete the stuff so we can burn it. So we're going to delete the first read bin. I'm going to delete the um, dummy.dat or dummy.bin if you have one. You don't need to do this for your mix. Um, I'm just doing this right now so I can burn it. Uh, so delete the IP bin. This is a file that we're going to replace. So I'm deleting the IP bin. So that's just so we can burn the mix. Then I'm going to go back to this MVC2 mix tools. And in here in the self boot folder, there's going to be a IP bin. You're going to want to copy that to your um, logo tools right here. So I copy that right here. And this is what we're going to insert the logo.mr into. So we're going to bring up that command prompt again and type logo insert. We're going to type the um, logo.mr and then the ip.bin. And this is going to insert it into the IP bin. So when it says this logo insert, that means it works right here. And we're all done with this command prompt. So now inside this IP bin, the logo is inserted. So we're going to go and back to our mix folder and we're going to copy that over. So I moved the IP bin to mix and now I'm going to set it up with um, boot dream so that it will burn. So I'm going to go back to the self boot folder and get the first read. And we're going to copy that into here. Paste. And then I'm going to do the dummy file. Uh, let's see. Extract. Actually, 
actually see this dummy file minimum. There we go. Dummy file. We're running it. Sorry. Um, pick location. And we're going to find our mix folder, which is in our desktop right here. So it should be somewhere at the bottom. So there's mix. And I'm going to make the dummy file. So I'll build that, built it. And now we're going to burn the mix just to make sure everything works. I'm using Boot Dreams. Go over to Boot Dreams, run this. Oh, interesting. Oh, no wonder. I've been working out of this. Uh, that's why everything looks weird, because I've been working out of the uh, zipped version. There we go. It's Boot Dreams. Click that. Run. There we go. So here, I'm going to click Mix. Go there. And then we're just going to process it. Create the disk juggler image, blah, blah, blah. So this is going to create the um, CDI. And I'll be back when it's done. And we're going to check if the logo was inserted properly. So I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. And it looks like we're at about 99%. So we're about done. And the CDI should be made. There it goes. OK. Um, See where it put it first because I said process. So let's find where it put it. Um, I didn't think I put it on my desktop. So, uh, put it in my documents. So there we go. There's the CDI image, and now we're going to use this in the um, emulator. So I'm going to copy this to my real computer, and we're going to put it in the emulator. So I'm using Demol, and let's make sure the um, GDROM has the right disk, mix, and run Dreamcast. And it should display the logo right here. So there we go. I'm going to pause it. There's the logo right here that we inserted. Um, one thing to note about the logo, it's going to take up this like under this um, produced license text right here. It's going to have like this little box here on the right side. This is where your logo is going to go. You can only insert logos in this places. But um, one cool trick, you can kind of try to make it centered by inserting something at the edge of the logo like we did here. But um, usually people make a logo that fills this small box right here. That's the only place you can insert a logo. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something. Um, if you got any more questions about mixes, anything else I did, I'll be sure to make a video and help you guys out. Thank you very much.